today we're going to look at maximizing revenue when we're given the demand equation. We're given that the demand equation for selling X thousand items at a unit price P in dollars is given by the equation P equals 385 minus 2.5X. So this tells me at a price P, we'll be able to sell X thousand of this particular item. The total revenue of selling X thousand units is going to be R equals X times P. So anytime we're looking for revenue, it's equal to the price times the number of items that we sell. Because we're selling X thousand items, R is going to be in thousands of dollars. What we want to do is find the number of items that should be sold to maximize the revenue. As we do this, we'll round to one decimal place as needed. Let's go back to our demand equation, which was P equals 385 minus 2.5X, and we're going to multiply by X to get our revenue. So we have X times 385 minus 2.5X. I'm going to distribute the X. So I have 385X minus 2.5X squared. You can see this is a quadratic because it has a squared term. I think it's going to make everything easier if we write this in descending order. So I'm just going to rearrange it, make R be negative 2.5x squared plus 385x, so that when we go to look at this as a quadratic, we can see our coefficients of a, b, and c really easily. When we think about this as being a quadratic, notice the negative 2.5. Because the parabola opens down, I know that I have a maximum at the vertex. To find the vertex, we need to calculate negative b over 2a. So for our equation, we have negative. 385 over 2 times negative 2.5. Be careful with the negative signs here. Remember we're selling items so we can only have positive values as our answer. We can simplify this a little. The negative negative is going to be positive. 2 times 2.5 will give me 5. So I have this nice 385 over 5 which works out to 77. Remember this 77 represents 77,000 items that we're selling. Now that we know how many items we want to sell, we're going to find the maximum revenue by taking that number and plugging it into our equation, negative 2.5x squared plus 385x. We have negative 2.5 times 77 squared plus 385x, which gives us $14,822.5,000. It will be really important to pay attention to the wording when you're answering these type of application problems. You don't want to multiply by 1,000 or add zeros unless you're told to do so.